guys, this is your reading for Wednesday, the 8th of February. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you today. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck again for this reading. Let's have a look at what's coming up today. So, what have we got? We've got a wonderful card. Always really nice to see this. This is the Chariot, and the Chariot indicates victory and success, and it indicates that you're beyond good and evil because you're in charge, you're in the driver's seat, and you're really moving things forward in a positive, joyous, and upbeat kind of way. So you feel good about you, yourself, you feel like you've got something to offer, you feel like um, what you're doing, it works, and whatever you give yourself to really has the potential to shine and succeed. The next card here we've got is the Two of Wands. Again, there may not be visible doors that are opening. There may not be a lot of um, recognition via other people. So people, you know, cheering your name in the streets and saying, aren't you wonderful, and a bunch of fan mail coming through the front door. That's not the case. The truth is, though, that what you're doing is you're reversing this process of simply thinking of yourself and your own passions and what you want your world to be, and you're opening up and you're becoming teachable by your success in terms of what's going to be good for the greater whole, for everybody involved, and you're balancing things out. One and two is a relationship. So you're really creating a sense of balance here. The chariot is very ego-driven. This guy is in charge. There's no one else telling him what direction to go in or there's no kind of committee discussing what's going to happen. He says, we're moving forward, therefore it happens. So yes, that's a good thing. You feel empowered. You've Yesterday, you've had a good day where you were able to overcome obstacles. You're coming into this day on that kind of high. But you're not going into megalomania, kind of just thinking of yourself all the time. You're thinking of how you can create a doorway that includes other people and that's much more balanced. So it's not just your world, it's the world or everybody inhabits. And it's starting to think much more along the lines of a humanitarian, someone who cares about what their actions and what consequences those actions have on other people. Finally, we've got the Six of Swords and these three are traveling together. It's not the happiest scene. You know, she's shrouded there in her cloak. They're carrying this huge burden of all these swords, but they're moving forward regardless. So no matter how difficult the situation, no matter how heavy the burden, as long as you're together with other people, as long as you're connecting, as long as you're thinking about other people, it really makes you unstoppable because as a unit, you're much stronger than you are on your own. So on your own, you're successful today. Think how strong and powerful and how much of a positive contribution you can make when you brainstorm with other people, when you communicate with other people. And then all three of you can go in on a journey instead of you just being alone and controlling the situation and telling other people what to do. So it's a shifting of gears. It's getting out of the self much more, looking around, seeing what the opportunities are, and then combining forces to create positive and successful circumstances in your life. So it's all about teamwork in a sense. Number wise, we've got six and two is eight and seven is 15. One and five is six and six is a temporary opportunity. So there's an opportunity to really make a positive contribution to your world, your life, and for a door to open, a door of opportunity to open in your life, and it comes via other people. And also this card is all about, you know, if you look at this card by itself, let's just focus on that for a minute. This, it looks like they're escaping something. She's hiding. She's got her child there. That's kind of, the child is hidden. We've got this very impersonal looking man who's just doing his job, not asking questions about this, this very odd cargo that they're carrying. And it's um, really a message that no matter what, is going on nothing is too secret or nothing is too outrageous for you to share with another person especially if it's something that you want to keep to yourself especially if it's something that you feel is unspeakable and unsayable that's the important thing that you need to connect with another person about you know, in recovery, they say you're only as sick as your secrets. So the more you get that stuff out of your own personal system and you share it with other people, you can pull your strength and you can reach the other side and you can get to your 
destination that you're wanting to go to. So it looks like an amazing day. It looks like a great day for teamwork. If you would like a private reading with me, please remember to visit the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Just click on the readings tab to order your reading and we can look at anything that may be on your mind. Relationships, uh, finances, career, soul purpose, anything at all. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.